yesterday was looking godlike. So yeah. I, I've got pretty high expectations. Um, and again, I mean, my trust in Navi, even after everything we just saw, I mean, I, it's, it doesn't go that deep. I want them to prove it. Mantu going to be running straight in with a flashbang from Alexi B. That is a crisp execute. Ezer and Mantu again. He got tagged. He's down to nine health, and he'll take down Flamey as well. That worked out so well. Way better than he could have asked for. What a beautiful round out of Mantu. And they know now where Perfecto is as well. And so OG are going to close in like a bunch of sharks. NBK, lucky for him, he does not get his head taken off. Issa puts the pressure on, and they are going to be ready to take the fight to him. One kill goes through. NBK looking for the knife. Not going to happen. Montu robs him. Quad kill on him. Of course. You know, returning metagame in some sense. It's not the first time we've seen it, but I hope it's a returning metagame that's going to, you know, keep growing and growing. It's so much fun to watch. Ooh, but this is also interesting. MBK going down, and Issa will drop next. Alexi B going to pick one up as well, but that is it. And a flawless, essentially, uh, B site take from Navi. And uh, perhaps uh, OG were kind of regretting uh, getting a little bit too lighthearted there at the end of that pistol round, not staying focused. Uh, what a shot from Simple. <laughs> Dude, he is uh, not to be messed with. Nearly wins that fight, too. He's not far off. Is he still crouched on his legs over there when he died? It looked like his model was like oddly just standing in place. Even in death, he is really Even dragged. in death. Uh, that would have been unfortunate. No, I didn't say they're going to push on up. On the A site now, Navi. Right at the doorstep, simple cleaning house. To be expected, Mantu are going to get the drop on him, but Boomich, Boomich is waking up. He's looking pretty crisp here at the beginning of Dust 2 in these first few rounds. Unfortunate for MBK. Had his right idea, but he's going to get found. Boosted. He's going to boost himself. A little bit of an off angle, and it works wonderfully. Takes down Boomich. Needs to be aware of Flamey up close. Shot is going to come through. Flamey with the headshot, but he is blocked. Nowhere to go. You can't go back through that lake of fire. Yeah, but actually, the fact that he's forced to stay means he's suddenly getting a lot of information. He's realizing, first of all, that no one's playing immediately to his left uh, towards the B-bomb site. The rest of OGs are pretty much standing their ground, not being too crazy. Valda could be going for a flank, indeed he will be. Oh, but Perfecto, that is so so unfortunate. His angle, you can see on Valda's cross, just off enough that Perfecto had the advantage in that one. So suddenly, from a 5-on-3 into a 3-on-3, it's still 40 seconds, and they're going to go catwalk with uh, still Perfecto coming long. So a lot of trouble for Mantu if, if, they, if he swings out long there. I didn't see... Oh, wait, long. Look again. Perfecto. Well, that's unfortunate. But hey, Mantu gets the kill that matters. Drops that bomb carrier. And dude, MBK is working so well right now. Sets it up for Mantu to get a double. Yeah. And the push begins now. Going to be once again hitting this beat. This is a real change of strategy from Navi. Yeah. It was a lot of A focus, short pushes, long pushes last oh. time around. <laughs> What's going on? I don't understand. Again, they had the beast. They had everything set up with this beast but once again, and they call it off in the middle of it. And I just can't even understand why. Simple, barely alive. 25 seconds, or take over long, or go up short. It wasn't as much mid play. And maybe so. Navi now, in order to change up, they're they're trying to focus more on mid to perhaps punish OG. So once you're dead, that's that's the dangerous part done. Then you give it up afterwards. It's really confusing. Nice set up attempt. Actually, look at Boomich had that a little bit under control, but now it's going to crumble. And now they're running in one at a time, and that's never really uh, something that we recommend. Valda goes down at Simple, even if he was flashed. And that is an, that's a very important kill for Simple. Otherwise, they would have lost this round already. Oh, that HE reads them. That was so sick. Still doesn't save him, though. That is ridiculous that Navi still yeah. managed to get those kills. Outrageous. But that HE. Woo, buddy. That's just a scout on Mantu. I actually thought that was an op for a second. Weird off angle. Yeah, it's better for him to hide, obviously, if you see simple. I mean, if you try and get the shot. Oh, what a turnaround! It's the timing! How does he know that? So this, I mean, it's definitely... They, like, OG have got something going for him, and there's Mantu with the right eye peak, takes down Perfecto, gets that angle. So nasty. And that's more aggression of the of the, the sword that we were just talking about. Something that, that again is not that easy necessarily to put to put together on Dust 2. 
They managed to do it both in middle and now in upper B or upper dark. Valda with a headshot to take down Electronic and this crumbling. Great grenade. Both from Valda and from Iza. Flamey with a chance to do some more damage. Maybe. But Mantu will take it away immediately. He is 17 and 4 right now. And OG are been a number of rounds where it's super doable. We'll see. It looks like they're clearing our catwalks. Look at 35 seconds here. A bit of a jump down from Boomich and following in, in the smoke behind is Perfecto to take down MBK. Alexi very much alone over here. And the backup is going to be a little while away. So it's a good job that he gets that. But they're out of the middle as well. And Mantu, look at this genius. He's not even being baited into it. He's waiting. It's probably a call from a teammate saying, well, I'm only seeing a couple of people, not everyone. So for Navi, falling back. And nice shot from Simple, but it doesn't matter. They cannot win the round. It's 10 seconds left. There's no way to get to a bomb site in time. So... That is really, really rough, unfortunately for them. And, well, they're going to lose Perfecto as well. Time running out, and it's another round on yeah. the side of OG. And they save both ops to boot. 9-4, to four, CT sign for OG, just looking real good. And here's some aggression coming in from Navi. Could be very quickly. B split, depending. Yep. Alexi B gets caught. But that is still two players remaining on the B side. Do they manage to survive? Do they manage to get any kills? MBK, no! And removed immediately. Now it's Isa. Has to be the hero. Going to get two! That's interesting. Is that enough? No, I don't think so, but it's still pretty impressive. I mean, that's... He was really surrounded. But yeah, yeah, I don't think... I don't see why... How does not get anything, though? There's no reason you can't really... You can repeat a B-split like this, because the, the main... Probably the main deciding difference between winning or losing those rounds has to do with the setup on the OG side, and... See what's going on. Just get a quick scan in there. Yeah, you're right. Or, you know, get Overlord speed. Just zip somebody along. Find a way. Oh, Valda. the entire time. Interesting. He was um, normally it's 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 stop, like stop, duck and roll or whatever it is. Not slowly crouch back and die. Boomage with two big kills. NBK and Alexi B two on five. It looks like Navi will be finding a sixth round here, unless uh, there's some sort of huge surprise in store for us here. Org is not going to do anything. It would have been cool if he could land a quick headshot there. Nice tapping away from NBK. He's going to be taken down simple, but still one versus three. And he might as well go all in on this one, although he's going to change his angle of attack. Don't think anything he does here will really make a difference. Uh, they're going to know as well. Yeah, and they will just play it safe, not even really challenging him. All that much. Still, OG with a nice first half. Nine to six in their favor. And simple. Oh, let's see. They've managed to so far avoid the boss, although he is now going to be the one point blank ready and waiting. And never mind. Flashed, killed immediately. And the flank is going to come through. Velda gets clicked into oblivion, but it is still going to be a four on four. And the bomb is going to get planted very quickly here. Very quickly, definitely for long as well. They have one player down there, but it's Glocks again. It's not USPs of that range. So, not that it's a bad bomb plant, but there could be some complications in about five seconds. So, we'll see. Trying for this retake, already jumping down and moving forward. A four on four, right in the mix of it. And Iza trying to get a kill. Oh, Flamey with two big headshots. And MBK, he's going to be standing tall here, taking down Flamey. Now it's a two on one. And MBK is trapped in this corner. He cannot get out, and he will go down. And Electronic, is there a kit somewhere? Yeah, there is. So, he's going to have enough time for it. Nice triple electronic, nearly a round for OG though. Five HP for electronic. Yeah. That was a headshot. MBK managed both of them. Well prepared for this kind of a thing. Perfecto will spot out one, so that's a little bit of confirmation. He will miss that spray, jumping straight up under the box and ready for middle as well. No shots with the AWP at the moment. Oh, they're in a lot of trouble now. Simple going down and Perfecto missing all of the shots, finally getting the one, but that's way too late. They need it simple to pick up one of those kills in middle. I, I, we didn't see it from his point of view, but that is, that's critical. If that mid presence is gone, then every single one of them can return and just focus straight into upper dark, and and probably they win the round. I feel like Velda's trying to force things now because he's lagging so far behind on kills. You know, I don't know if there's a reason for him to push Boomish in that situation. No, maybe not. You just hold the angle, and Boomish is boxed, and nowhere to go. Lexi be setting up for a Molotov. You can throw those so that they, they burn the entire corner out, although sometimes it's a bit tricky. So uh, this one seems to be working. Perfecto certainly taking a bit of damage, although he's going to come charging in, not hitting the shot. Counter flashes as well. 14 seconds, and again, this way you have to worry about the time. I mean, one little hiccup in a, in a round like this and things go real bad. No jumping attempts being made. I thought maybe they could have gone for that. CC arranged, though, will take down MBK. 
How is that possible? That's wild. And well, now, let's see, there is going to be a bit of a push. Simple again, just going to go ahead and join this party. Was expecting the flick headshot. He still gets a body shot. It's a two on two. Lots of damage being dealt, and it's now a one on one. Does Electronic, once again with a single digit health pool, manage to take this clutch up close? It was so close. Alexi B down to 17 health. Wow. Coming through this way, you'd be really interested to see if Navi are going to try and be a little bit fractured like OG was. Bit of a run in, but again. I guess, but not really. Like, where's the flashbang to set that up for Electronic? Where's the help? Like, he's just being forced forward by Molotov, I guess, but still. You'd want Na'Vi to be the ones taking the initiative and not OG, at least some of the time. And this time, they get wiped out at the end of the world. And so you can just continue to get more and more comfortable here on the OG side of things. And, I mean, you, you smashed Na'Vi on this map yesterday, 16-9. They're going to give up the bomb site four on four for a full retake, in which they have... None of the grenades that you would want for a retake. The OG are going to be moving over towards the catwalk, and Navi, they need smoke, some Molotov, something to make that, uh, you know, a difficult choice for OG. And that's not happening right now. It's a pretty good shot from Flamey, though, but LXCB will be there with a quick return. Trying to see if they could cross on over. Simple with a kill on Valder, but again, it's, it's not that easy. That bomb is still out there and ticking, and they need to find a way to get up there. They do have kits. But they're just listening at the moment. Man, too. Oh, nice shot from Simple. He had almost no time to do that. And Alexi, he wants to just go for the swing. It's already being defused. Oh, you feel like he could have just crouched into it. But I guess he was... Um... All right. Well, kind of exciting. I, I still think OG did the right thing in going forward. I don't think they should have gone back. Rushing through the flames into the bomb site. That has worked before. And it is looking good once again. Simple at the cross. But surely they're not going to just jump like... Don't give you yeah, This is the smarter move. And they take him down. And now, hard as it is, I don't think Navi should yeah, fall back. It's not, I, it's just not worth it. They don't have the economy. Yeah. I they, like it. Yeah, they've already proven that that B-bomb side, even when there's three people defending it, it's something they can they can take. So, hard to argue with, really. Not, not the most elaborate. They do have two people there, so they could definitely go for it. Smoke this up. Simple on the timing, not really hitting it. And they're going to go quick towards the B-bomb site. And if they get the first kill, this is so doable. And there it is. Perfecto going down and flamey. Oh, he actually hit that headshot, but it doesn't even matter. Well, this Molotov will consume him afterwards. And now, now we do not have a choice. It's... They left the op in mid. Yeah. All right, Matu. Just stab him with it, dude. Oh, boy, shot. Oh, wow, well, he's going to get... I guess, they could see the, I guess they could see the gun barrel. Maybe, yeah. Molotov here, so a lot of grenades on the Navi side, a 2-1-3 retake, and they're all going to go through Upper Dark Valder. Let's see what he could do here with the AK-47, and they're going to be rushing, they're not going to be slowing it down. Instant shot, more are coming, it's a double kill for Valder, and now MBK set up one click to take it away, 16-9, to nine, and OG successfully take down Navi on the first map in this best of three. Not obviously the end of it, but that was... Uh... And well, here we go. Straight out onto A. No fear. Only dreams, Anders. Get in there fast. OG not willing to let Navi recover after Dust 2. He jumped out. That's pretty bold. Being airborne like that could definitely get you killed. And they're going to keep going in the jungle. I love this. Now, they just need to... eventually they have to stop, right? But I love the idea that they keep pushing because it does throw the CTs a little bit off guard. Electronic and Boomich, though. Some strong kills. And he'd love to find more, but he actually can't right now. There's no one in the bomb site. What a nice jump through. That takes some practice and skill, ladies and gentlemen. Valder absolutely caught off guard. Now they smoke the bomb and are defusing inside with a kit. Boom, which is on it. Another millisecond and he'll have it. And they cannot find him in time. It's Navi to win the round. Oh, and he's killing them even afterwards. That is that's a really action-packed pistol round. Yeah, they definitely have a better buy than, than Navi do. Except for the grenades, but I think they will take it anyway. Isa taking down Simple. Another fight to come in. Electronic. Oh, that's a beautiful double and make it a triple. Why not? Taking down Valder on top. They, I don't think they were, I wasn't expecting that. They bought plenty of, what, magnesium dust. Yeah, there's a, set it off. a flare going off. And boom, edge up close to the MP9. Unreal. Creeping towards the bomb site. If Valde keeps this up, he's going to get shut down by Flamey. Really check for the boost. Jump across, gives it away. But this is just a bait and switch. Flamey might still get caught, and he is, in fact, going to get caught for free. Gets that smoke off, but that split second makes a difference. 
two-man advantage for OG, and this is definitely a safe scenario now for Navi. Yeah. You know, just staying up there the whole time and then looking down if you have a sniper rifle or something that can, that can work out at the moment. Well, the one AK on Simple is the only thing really they have to be scared about, and I don't see why Simple would try and throw it away. The rest of them could try and definitely look for some kills if they feel like it. Oh, there it is. It walks right in. So, no AK. Play me, though. Oh, no! How could that be? He gets another one in there. Quick triple headshot. He does have a kid, actually, but... Oh, no! One more! That is absurd! MBK just watching his team die in front of him. That is a miraculous round from Flamey. There's a gun right there on the carpet. Hey, confused. So, why did he drop his pistol? It was weighing him down, Anders. He had to be fleet of foot here. Yeah, I he guess had to so. Quick. Got a bit of a line up here, but yeah, it's danger on the other side. He's still gonna win. Definitely tuned in at the moment, Flamey. Don't want to be throwing this away. Two versus four. Don't give them any individual fights. It's still Flamey. He's just hitting the shot so well. And the grenade. Back to back quad kills for Flamey. This is a long time to be holding middle, I've got to say. Mitch uh, going to get traded. Quick plays there from NBK. Chimes in and manages to trade it. Four on four now as they move on to the A side. OG will be able to plant. Nice and open. Nearly denied. One HP. Plants the bomb with one HP. That could make all the difference. Especially when anything goes down to NBK for the smoke. A bit of a battle there. Man, I can't believe how close it was to Boomich getting away. Nice enough shot. And Mansu said already low on health. He's going to be dropped immediately. NBK, though, catching a little bit of fire here. Second kill of the round for him so far. He's just out battling in the middle of the bomb side. Electronic going to shoot him in the back. It's now Valder out in the open. He sprays. He gets it. Oh, my God. What a double kill. He was so low. I think if, if Electronic hadn't been falling off the ledge there, uh, setting up for Renee hit. Boomich, not even getting a chance. Hard life for Boomich. Started strong. Oh, this Molly. <laughs> oh, has a corner to hide in. Does Valda realize this? Nope. Easy peasy. But he does manage to get one. No, that's actually Alexa. E. <laughs> Taking down the other, but Alexa, I mean, Electronic makes it out with uh, 6 HP. And if he saves that AK, actually, that could, that's going to give Navi a little bit of firepower for the next round. You don't think he will. Uh, Electronic knows he's boxed in now, though. Oh. oh, reloading too. Come on, NBK. No longer just a deagle. He's got an AK in hand and he is going aggressive. He's going to get so much information here. NBK has no way of knowing. This is. Wow, NBK checks! Like, <laughs> Symbol cannot know this, but everything there just suggests that they, if, they, if he actually stayed at the off angle instead of in the corner, he just would have had that kill, no problem. But. Fair play to NBK. That is experience shining through and very, very important. God say it's such a good move for Simple as well. And here he goes again, taking down Flavy. Fantastic round. Vector's are caught sleeping a bit and a third kill for NBK. And he's taking over this game right now on the T side. Nearly getting the spray down against Boomich, but he can relax and just wait for the bomb to go down. They're already covering the marketplace over by B, so doesn't have to do anything. And nice little swing. I still don't think Boomich could do this, and I actually partly wonder if it's even worth it. Yeah, now it's definitely better. It's just such a stretch to try and run into the B bomb side alone and, and check everything. Still hanging around. I don't know about this. What are they doing? Not gonna happen. But they were kind of stretched out. Still looks like they're going to go catwalk into B, and there's three people waiting. This could get interesting. Now yeah, there's Isa. Taking up the one. Perfecto up close to the CZ-75. And there it is. Simple showing up. A round that, uh, well, is not done yet. They have taken a lot of damage. Perfecto, the one, the healthiest one here for uh, Navi. But Matu's got that bomb. Wow. Wow. What? CS devs, you know, it's like, first like, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, CS devs, oh my god. And CS devs are over there just printing money, like, I don't think about you at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boomage, that's a nice lineup. Big double. He's been trying to play that for a while, and this time it definitely worked out. Four versus three, simple. Not a smoke, but he still doesn't need to see anything. Could still take down Valda on pure timing.
Man 2 on the leg, CP 2 on 4, and that's simple, just hunting for him. He, just, he looks so careless, like, not even scared at all. 8 to 7 in the first half here at Mirage. Oh, wow, look at this from OG. Straight through underpass, hoping for a B play. It's not going to be the case. It's out on A already. Isa, that would have been beautiful. He could have had a headshot to kick things off. And he spotted jungle as well. XCB trying to back off, trying to play it safe. He barely survives. Seven health, and the bomb is already planted. That's really lightning fast, isn't it? And it's out towards the middle of the map as well, so so everyone here in, in jungle could do a lot. Perfecto hitting some crisp headshots. Electronic finally going down. But OG definitely at a disadvantage so far in the pistol round. Flame with a bit of a drive-by, and Simple will get his say as well with the P250. Well, the only one he's going to get, but Alexi with seven health and a kit, I just, there's really no point in even trying, is there? I mean, you, you're never going to be able to defuse for that long. Um, they're watching it from so many different angles, so. Yeah, that's right there. Yeah, but even then, I mean, he was being flanked as well. Flamey yeah. coming in there, it's, just, it's too much. Flamey disappointed for sure. But again, why give them anything? I know head armor surely there on XCP. He went down quick to the MP7. 25 seconds, though. I don't... I mean, what do you do? He, yeah, you could run for the B-bomb site, but one, one single bit of, uh, of a hiccup here, and you're not even going to have that much time to try and put the bomb down. Not one yet. Oh, my God. It's electronic with two kills on the Orca. They just, they just run in like it's nothing. That should never happen. Had they lost this? Well, now let's see. Do they even trying to get out of here? It looks like they do. Electronic's gonna get one. I mean, Isa gets both. He can recover that AUG. Doesn't seem like he's going to. Decides to back off and save instead. It would make sense, yeah. Sure, that happens on a bunch of different levels. Ooh, and two, that looks like it should have been a free kill. Boomich, he's still fragging and finally gonna be going down, but I mean, he should have had no kills. He should have been dead immediately then. They've distracted like three or four players to look to middle now. It's a good job that Valda turns around to take down Flamey. Bantu there, low on health, but doesn't even matter. Drops Perfecto in the middle of the site, and that's a pretty good recovery. I actually thought that was going to spiral out of control when they were all in the middle. That's a boomage. All right. Still playing, I guess. Two on four. They, they cannot give this away, OG. Electronic is just, he is actually fighting so hard right now. Maybe simple isn't sitting at the top of the of the scoreboard, but I mean, flaming and electronic. This has been their map, and electronic was doing work in the last and on dust two as well. But now let's see, simple one v three pinned on the site and soon to be caught in the open. No, no we have one HE on mantle, unfortunately. Yeah, they're just gonna group up on him. I again, if you could get out and try to sort of fight his way into to a bit of position, it would be different, but. They're just everywhere at the moment, so a single missed shot. Not even get it, gonna get that off. It's Alexi to take him down. Yeah, they need they need to string some more rounds together here, or it's it's gonna be too late. That would be lights out. But this is the best chance that they've got. Fully bought up all the guns, including AKs. You gotta do it now. And unfortunately, I simple just doesn't miss, man. Doesn't matter if he's blind. Yeah. He wasn't it, even blind then. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was like mildly flashed or something like that, but it wasn't really enough. So, nice idea. I still, I mean, flashbang at the top mid, it, it's definitely really cool. It's just that uh, that is pretty much what those guys do, right? Like singers. Sure, yeah, it must Commentary be. Commentary is what we do. It's kind of the same kind of thing. One of those fights, I think it was uh, UCC, sat next to a lead singer and asked him for a bunch of tips on how he warms up for, for shows. Yeah. Been, been using those for a good long while. They have a history of messing rounds like these up in horrific fashion, and I, I, I still have trauma from watching those rounds. I'm getting nervous right now. I can feel it coming. Alexi B does go down, and boom, which is there as well. And suddenly it works out, and they get every single one. It looks so perfectly timed. They didn't screw it up. I was nervous for no reason. They're going to get a 15th round here. Just go for it. We'll do a mar marathon-type session. Just keep playing. If we start at 7 in the morning, I'm fine with that. But at least OG could start to gravitate back to the B-bomb site. We'll see. MBK smoking off, ready to catch Electronic with the help of Alexi B. As he comes out of the window, and now we've really been slowed down. This is looking so good for OG. A chance here to at least get up to 9. Not bad. Not bad. Everything is on that one AK. Some pressure on Flamey. He's been playing very well at the moment, but... Uh, he's spotting it out. 
Little flashbang. They're getting close up. There's Perfecto. Cruising into the bomb site, taking down Iza. Flamey with a kill on Valda. Now everyone's getting nervous at the moment. Mansu's gonna get that one, but Alexi still goes down. Flamey has already found two kills with that one AK-47. And oh no, bomb plant! Boomich getting interrupted. Flamey is down next. All they needed was this cover. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Mantu snuck in towards jungle. I don't think... Yeah, the electronic has no idea. He's not thinking about it yet. Surely he will soon, but... If he doesn't, he could walk right into the shop. And yeah, I think now it's dawning on him that... He's actually not in that position. This is real interesting. Still got the P250 out. Someone must have called it that Mantu's low. Definitely saw the dink. Definitely saw that helmet shot, uh, that little spark fly, and so he seems to know. Now over the top, he's peasy. Electronic keeps his pool and locks it down for Navi. 16 10, the final score on Mirage. And that means we're going to get a third map, which is new. Just to let you take a bit of damage, there are two P250s on the other side, so you can't be feeling too secure in that USP at all. Don't want to be underestimating that huge giant gap. And Simple will snipe away at one. Valde out there, and he nearly goes down. Valde has the smoke and the bomb, so this is a real issue. This is a real big issue. Valde. Oh, man. Well, they have 50 seconds to hope for a mistake from Na'Vi. And certainly, if one of them sort of walks into a fight here, and at least they can you know, get a kill in return, that'd be the start. But, <laughs> but MBK is also put to sleep. And Valde... Almost getting found. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. He, he saw it coming. You know he did that. He, he, he knew exactly what he was doing. He actually just baited him into that. How good does it feel? They're just they're they're simple right there. They're just uh, really, there's really no one in the world that's at that level. It's so outrageous. Very cool to see. Flamey taking down Alexi B at the end. And... Third round here, got the wall of smoke set up outside. Simple's running all the way back. I don't think they actually spotted him. And what a flick! It's so quick! And he's gonna, uh, well, not even no scope. He's just gonna quick scope Alexi B down. Just a one-man army. What do you even do if you're up against that? Like, what is the plan? Oh, no. Nearly gets a second one as well. Matu's a dead man. And this is all on Valden out. 1v4. I, that must be a really fun part of the map for Simple, if you think about it, right? You have so many options in Yard. You just go everywhere, yeah. do all the things. If you're hitting shots, I mean, everything is possible. I mean, it's got to be a real fun place for him to be. Could also be that they're not going to try and do that. Flamey, I think they already walked up behind him, didn't they? Or at least nearly. Hadn't seen anyone yet. Now he's going to have a very interesting position. An easy kill on Mantu, but can't find an immediate follow-up. The bomb is being planted back here, and at least they're going to get that nice shot from Iza. He's at it again with the AK. Open it up. Man advantage for OG going into this post-plant. And, well, Navi, they've got control of ramp, as we can see. Two players there ready to take those long-range fights. If Boomish can come up with something here, that would be fantastic. But him dying, I think, seals the deal here. Electronic yeah. is going to get that parting shot, but without any nades, I mean, how do you even get onto the bomb site, let alone take these fights? All the way through as well. Yeah. And now on the other side, Flamey, full flash, trying to drop down. Blinded, just not a chance. And oh man, the information gained. And BK going to open it up completely. Boomage caught in the open. Simple, not going to hit his shot either. What is going on? Point blank will get the second one, but. It is Valda to trade, and this is now down to Electronic and Perfecto, and make that just Perfecto. And a 1v4, his teammates all dying around him, and back to back baller rounds here from OG, just slamming Navi. I mean, you feel like as soon as that smoke goes down the box, it, he, it would maybe be better to call it off. Because again, even if, if it wasn't Mantu getting that shot, they, they'd probably worry about the silo. Nice enough shot, and oh, follow up, what's going on? The USP. Double taps to the face, and that's enough. Mantu, though, incredible work to bring it back. It's still 2-on-2, two two, they got to worry a little bit here. 16 seconds left. Mantu going down into it. That's the bomb dropping now at 13 seconds. And Alexi has told him he has to keep going, otherwise he's never going to get to the bomb site. And now it's Flamey. One versus one against Alexi P. Nice idea of just dropping the Molotov behind him. And Flamey walking in on the other side, opening the door. He definitely knows where he is. He's got the armor. He's got everything going for him here. And now... A bit of a positional advantage, and he'll take him down. Good double kill. Alexi saving this team. 
Oh, and the timing no way. is uh, There we go. Finally pays off, but Valder and MBK are still alive, and they still have about 45 seconds, so... Not over yet. Oh, so sick. What is this game, Anders? That was baller. NBK. And now Simple rotating down. Not going to find a target. It's... Oh, never mind. Velda getting caught, however. But that gives NBK valuable information. Perfecto. Blitzed in the face. And now Simple versus NBK. Who gets this? I mean, the Molotov is going to force NBK's hand, right? Like, he has to, to make some assumptions. No kit on Simple. So this kill has to be quick. And instead, it's Nathan with a quad kill at the end of it. The way that he just rolled into that bomb site, he's been really, really on point. Lexi now making noise, so that should be a clue to Navi that something is up. 14 seconds. Any bump in the road right now, they're going to lose Boomage up on top of the reactor itself, and he's going to be taken down. Isa, they need to plant the bomb right now inside, and he knows it, Boomage. Oh, if he gets one more bullet, but he cannot, and the bomb is planted! Last possible second. What an absolutely ridiculous plan from OG, but it is working. Electronic and Perfecto now two on three. They just got away with murder, just broad daylight. Yes, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Boomage, man, that's a real heartbreaker. But it's not done yet. Perfecto goes in, takes out Alexi B. It's meant to an NBK last two alive for OG. NBK's been popping off the entire map long. Not going to get it, but he lines up in front of Mantu. Mantu using his teammate as a human shield. 19 Whoa. seconds, and they're going to make a run for it all the way down. Flamey trying to be that sneaky guy, and they're certainly hitting that shot. And the follow-up bomb is next, and it's on Ezer, and he's going to get tagged. 10 seconds left. They should not be losing this round, and they're simple, closing it out. Ooh, OG, oh that is... Uh, um, that's more than tempting fate. Taunting fate? Is that a thing? Still hanging around down here at the B-bomb site. Yeah, they're still content to just sit. It's looking like we're finally going to get some movement, but uh, can you actually get out here with this crossfire? Well, Mantu's going to take down Boomage, but can you expect Flamey to be here? That would be nuts if you got that read. Flamey could ruin OG right here. Yeah, but if they plant behind the silo, he can't really do it, anything to stop it. What would obviously be amazing is if he get the kill. He's out in the open, isn't it, Valda? Oh, there is a smoke, but still, Flamey not going for it. That would have been it, and instead... It's flamey to drop. I kind of wish he would have tried. That would have probably won the round. It was so low on time. Oh. All right. What? <laughs> what? Oh, God. Simple also got a kill in the meantime. Looked like MBK started something he couldn't finish, didn't it? Again, I, I don't know. I'm always so dubious whenever people go for sprays of any kind with, uh, with, with an M4, but... Especially the warbangs. Caught by Alexi and Simple. Looked like he was a little bit worried then. Alexi up here is a problem, but the Valder will go down. Alexi trying to get the charge in. But Perfecto right at the edge of the Molotov. I think Alexi just assumed that no one could have been there. Not quite so. So there is that seventh round. Do we have the dualies? Do we have the P250 on Simple? It's been a while since we've seen him melt someone. Potential target in MBK. He's still out here fighting. Mantu showing up. Oh, a lot of people showing up here to try and help uh, for OG outside. And MBK even low enough. Oh, no. He did not have the bullets for it. That, like, that actually looked like it would have been a genius move. Dualies at range. Huge amount of doubt in my head around that. Boomich will find a kill even low on health himself. And suddenly it's a two on two. That's a very confusing fight outside. Can we get something here, though? Ah, uh, there it is. Isa finds him, but now Flamey. No Kevlar, no nades. Still needs to find the bomb. He's got a minute at least, but he's been spotted. Chased out. 35 seconds, so that is going to be a problem right about now. We've seen it. He so badly would have wanted that, but again, for 25 seconds, Flamey, it's time to run. As much as it sucks, this is it. And he's going to get shot in the knees instead. And it will be OG to pick up the round. Let's say there's a shot. Mantu wishing he had an op. No way to go. No way to escape. Boomage catches Alexi as well. Do they line up? They do, but there's too much firepower. Everybody's so low, but Navi is still going to be able to power forward here. And Isa stuck in a 1v3. Getting those shots on people that are sort of stumbling downstairs in yes. this game. Yeah. Like, just throws things out of whack. Yeah. It's definitely not easy. 
They don't actually reply with that many grenades. I thought maybe, you know, Navi throwing all that stuff in. Maybe OG would sort of overreact. Maybe that's what they were counting on, Navi. That doesn't happen. Mantu hunting them from behind, but it's easier. And, and MBK will pick up a couple of kills there at the beginning. Just a Molotov kill, leaving Simple alone in a 1 versus 3. And he's going to get shot. He didn't even realize that. Nice round, nice shutdown. And again, probably going to be about the squeak door. You have to imagine Isa. There's a hole in it. He's crouching right in front. Super dangerous. If he goes down, I think this bomb side falls in a second. I don't think anyone can really get there in time. I mean, there's one more defender here, and there's Isa dropped. Yeah, and NBK is the only other, other one in here. So it's all on him, and there's Molotovs and grenades and bullets. He's throwing everything at him. And that did work. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, I think Navi keeps three guns alive now. If you start throwing away guns willy-nilly. Alexi kind of changing up his pattern. This is a forced buy round from OG, though, so it's all or nothing for OG. They want to get it done here to put a halt to this Navi train. Well, is he going to pick up? Oh, man, two big kills coming through, and then Isa lurking through the smoke. Ridiculous. We are going tit for tat back and forth here, Anders. This is a little bit crazy. 13 to 9. OG squeak that. They get all rifles across the board now. Didn't quite get the, the the instant headshot that he needed. Three versus five, and NBK fighting out here. Maybe a little bit too overzealous. Oh, no! From a five on three into a three on two in about three seconds. Unforgivable for OG. Why are they doing that? That should never be allowed. Yeah, a bit too excited there. Oh, yeah, wow. no, you're just, that's a round that went from everything going right. They're just hanging out outside of the A-bomb site. Let him do that. We're, we're three on five. Yeah. What does it matter? Oh, okay, I see. This could be great. Yeah, he could set up a, a monster grenade. They're right on top of it. Look at that. Boom, setting it up. USP could do the rest. He said we'll go down, but some good damage actually here. MBK, Valder will spray down too. Can he get a third? Indeed he can. That is monstrous. Just the one M4, but it did so much work. And now Electronic, he's got the bomb, and yeah, he's going to go straight for it here. He knows where they are. He knows where both of them are for sure, so this is not impossible. But Valder sneaking in at the side. He's going to get shot in the face, and there it is. Electronic coming back in with a triple of his own and saving them. He was so widely exposed. 13 to 12. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the money is spent except for the $200 stretched across them. Quick trade is electronic. Uh, well, starting to get in the groove of things. Maybe Alexi B will catch Boomich, who is backing up into the smoke, but not fast enough. That was so important. Wow. Again, trading back and forth, it seems. They just lost a three on five. I don't think they can let go of this two on four either. Electronic is low on health. Perfecto is healthy, but they've got no grenades and, yeah, waiting it out. Electronic wanted to try and see if he could sneak in a kill. I don't even know what Perfecto is meant to do here. How do you dream of doing this? The bomb is not even planted in a particularly great position here. And well, he's going to get a headshot on Mantu. That's a good start. But they're already on the bomb. And they will be able to clear it all out. So, 14 rounds for OG. Here are the flashes. He's got the crossfire with Mantu. But that Molotov is going to force him back. Can't really stay here. He's going to take a fair bit of damage, but it's still a great shot to take down Perfecto. And Valder, he's been waiting here the whole time. Now, they know that Valder placed this position. That's why they're still looking for him. Smart play from Boomich, but they're not able to win the fight against him. And Valder wants to keep going. Simple will finally drop him. Still a favorable trade for OG. But yeah, that was just them essentially... Oh, oh my god, he actually got it. That I would love to see in slow motion. That must have been very, really, really close. Simple going down next in line. And OG about to be... At series point here, you need to get a bomb plant because your team needs every dollar That's going into happen. the next round. That is never going to happen. That's so unfortunate. Just a little bit longer there. Checks that corner, but nope. <laughs> Navi, I mean, they've really been fighting hard in this game. There's no doubt about it. And OG have been real persistent in holding on to it. And that looks like it is just about to pay off through Molotov and Isa still standing inside. Flamey will get the kill, but he's in a one versus four. He just got the kill on Valder. And there is just an, well, a lot of people to fight still. He's being shot and grenaded through the smoke and it's done. 16 to 12 as OG will bring down Navi in this best of three. And it really took a lot, much more than I think some people were expecting. But they managed to find their way through and a job well done.